Nation. Greetings, people. I come in peace. Anthony Joshua v. Francis Ngannou has just been announced to take place in March. I have to say that before Fury took on Ngannou, I would have thought this fight is a waste of time and a money grab. But inadvertently, Fury has legitimized Ngannou as a valid opponent. If Fury had made light work of Ngannou, like most people thought, or didn't fight him in the beginning, this fight with AJ wouldn't make any sense, and it wouldn't be happening. But alas, Francis Ngannou showed he wasn't a pushover. He knocked down Fury in the third round, and some people actually thought Ngannou won that fight. I thought he got the moral victory. And at the end of it all, he was given a ranking by the WBC. So now, that fight is more than a money grab. It could be seen as a fight to put Ngannou in his place, for boxing's sake. And to further expose Tyson Fury. I can't help but feel that the seriousness of boxing is in jeopardy. Ngannou has leapfrogged other worthy boxers to fight one of the biggest stars in the game. AJ needs to get rid of him convincingly, restore the natural order of the sport and proceed on the road to regaining his belts. And that might not be easy. Ngannou was on his front foot closing down Fury, so AJ will have to gain his respect early. Francis is very durable from what I've seen. So AJ must make him tentative to come forward. Give him a boxing lesson. Keep in mind Nganu is now very confident after his success with Fury. We've seen that he has good balance, he's strong and he can punch. I don't think the fight will be a slugfest, although Nganu would probably like it to be. I think AJ will have to be cautious to start and sicken Francis with accurate jabs. Use speed and accuracy. Take your time and be patient. If AJ sees a chink in the armour, he'll tee off. But he must be attentive to what is coming back. I think it's an interesting outing for AJ, who wants to keep busy. So a fight like this, at the start of the year, is like a high paid warm up for things to come. Let's hope it doesn't backfire. If it goes to plan, AJ can move on to the next, which should be Zhang or Herkovich, or even Cha, maybe Sanchez, which would put him in the position for title fights, or for the title, depending on the permutations and outcomes. Intriguingly, Francis thinks Fury is better than AJ, and will be an easier task. <laughs> I think if Francis goes into the fight thinking like that, he'll be astonished and bemused after a few rounds. I also think that if AJ knocks Ngannou out or makes it look easier than Fury, it will be another unveiling of Fury's limitations. It's scandalous that it doesn't look like AJ and Fury are going to fight anytime soon. So defeating Fury's ex-opponents is as comparative as we are going to get for now. Yes, Styles makes fights, I know, but this is all we've got to go on. I think AJ will win, but it's a live opponent that shouldn't be taken lightly, and I don't think he will take him lightly. It's 70-30 in AJ's favour for me. If AJ manages to dispatch Ngannou, who will be next? The winner of Fury and Usyk will probably have to vacate the IBF belt, leaving it available for AJ and Herkovic. A fight with Zhang for the WBO position, or Manuel Char for the WBA spot, or Sanchez for the WBC. By the end of the year, AJ could be world champion again, or at least fighting for a world title. Nothing seems straightforward. Things can be manoeuvred in or out of your favour. We'll have to see how it all pans out. The best laid schemes of mice and men go often awry and leave us nothing but grief and pain for promised joy. Is it worth the risk? So to conclude, it's a huge fight. Not ideal for the belts, 
but has enormous crossover appeal. It has allure and intrigue, it's sellable, and the chance to rub Fury's nose in it. Can AJ do what Fury couldn't? Once again, he has to clean up and disinfect Fury's debris, mayhem, and blunders, and salvage boxing. By the way, AJ isn't holding a belt, so why not? Before I forget, I have to give salutations to Boxing Beats and Rhymes for his gracious endorsement. I feel very honoured to be acknowledged by one of YouTube's veterans. Thank you, Beats. Anyway, thanks for listening. And remember, choose life. How gratifying it is to work for the betterment of mankind.